In this video, we're going to do a review of pedigrees. So remember, a pedigree is a graphical representation of inheritance in a family. So males are squares, females are circles. If it's not filled in, they don't have the trait. If it is filled in, they do. And if they're heterozygous or carriers, I do it half and half. So here's an example of a pedigree. And if this is you, that would be your mom. That'd be your grandpa, uncle, aunt, and cousin. And there would be three generations in this pedigree. So how do I determine the inheritance pattern of a pedigree? So if I'm looking at a dominant trait, it's going to show up in every generation, and there's not going to be any carriers. So here's an example of a pedigree that shows that's for a dominant trait. So notice, every generation, somebody has it, and nobody is a carrier, because you can't be a carrier for a dominant trait, either if you have a dominant allele, you have the trait. So what about recessive traits? Well, these are ones that often skip generations, and then you are going to have carriers, and you can have male and female carriers. So this is an example of a recessive pedigree. So notice, it skipped a generation. Nobody in this second generation has it. We have a whole bunch of carriers, but nobody actually has the trait. And then I have male and female carriers. And that's important because that's a distinction between this one and sex-linked recessive. So the way to do this, if you see carriers, it's some type of recessive trait. If you see male and female carriers, then it's just a regular recessive trait. Because in a sex-linked recessive trait, it still skips generations, but we're only going to have female carriers. Because remember, a male can't be a carrier of a sex-linked trait. And you're also going to be more likely to find it in males. So here's my example of a sex-linked recessive trait. Notice, it skipped this generation. I only have female carriers, and most of the people that have it are males. And you could see that the only female that has it, not only was her mom a carrier, but her dad also had it. And that's the only way you can get a female with one of these traits. And so that's how to determine the inheritance pattern of a pedigree and how to draw and read a pedigree.